Welcome to the fourth podcast, The New <laughs> yep. Boston Live. So uh, I guess I better start out by telling you this. I wanted to tell you this earlier, but I just couldn't. It was just too good. I had to save. Oh, so, yay. Uh, so where did you go to uh, eat before we just started here? McDonald's or McDonald's. Something? Okay, well, when you were gone, I went to uh, Taco Bell. Oh. And I was like, I'm hungry. I got to get something to eat. So I went through the drive through because, you know, if you're going to Taco Bell, you're already – you know, you might as well make it a totally lazy trip because, you know, why get up and walk? I don't want to, you know, exercise. Yeah, no. So, anyways, I was in the drive through and I go, uh, can I have two chicken chalupas with nacho cheese to go in the drive through okay. I asked for it to go. Embarrassing. That was it? Well, I asked for it to go oh. in the drive through <laughs> so I was like, well... I guess I didn't need to specify that. I guess not. But, uh, you know, I did it anyways. Sorry, I didn't catch that one. I was like, to go? Hopefully he didn't catch it either. I so don't know. that would have just I been don't embarrassing. Think the guy at Taco Bell is going to judge you anyways. Well, at least he didn't be like, after my order, he was like, would you like that for here to go? That would have really <laughs> messed me up. So, anyways, I actually found a story, not about Taco Bell, but about like fast food in general. Okay. And it's kind of, you know, it's not really like a funny story, but I want your opinion on this. I can give you that. So, well, let me, you know, before we get into that, I know we have a lot of people watching from overseas. So, you guys might not know what food stamps are, or you guys might call it something a little bit different. But anyways, over here in the United States, we have something called food stamps, and it's basically... Poor people, or should I say uh, people with low income. Lower I think, income. Lower income. Sometimes when they can't afford food, they apply to the government for something called food stamps. And basically, if you get accepted, like if you aren't making enough money, the government sends you a little card. It's like a credit card. And you could take it to the grocery store to buy groceries. And, you know, you can buy like chicken salad, whatever you need for you and, you know, to feed your family. But there is like, there's very little restrictions on this. Of course, you can't buy like cigarettes and alcohol. Right. But you can buy things like soda, potato chips, like candy bars. So if you have like $2 or excuse me, $200 worth of food stamps every week, you can go ahead and buy like $200. I don't even spend $200 on groceries a week. Well, I mean, I guess if you have a family to well, feed. Yeah. So anyways, here's what I'm trying to ask. Should unnutritious products like candy, potato chips, ice cream, should they be banned for people with food stamps that need food stamps to live? Uh, I think that's, I mean, you don't need candy and soda and stuff like that to live. I mean, it's not a necessity. And I, I feel like if the government put restrictions on what you could actually buy with your food stamps, maybe not so many people would have issues with, overeating or obesity or but uh so you saying stick with healthy food only not exactly healthy food but not junk like, food yeah if people cut out or can't afford soda and candy then i mean that takes it out of their diet and that's you know but uh i guess here's a debate against that sometimes like healthier food is a little more expensive than junk food because you you can get like in 48 pack of Twinkies for like 50 cents well I know that but I mean healthy food there's a difference between you can make something like chicken and like have like a pasta and something and I mean all that I mean it, it's not that expensive but at least it's not as bad for you as like eating like 20 Swiss cake rolls or so are you saying ban the junk food yeah all right. Well, Lola says ban the junk food. And I mean, I just feel like it's all, like we pay the government in taxes. You know, the government gives out welfare. I don't want to pay for some fatty snicker bar. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's our money. It's the taxpayer's money. And I don't want to pay for your unhealthy eating habits and your, you know, addiction to Twinkies and root beer. Yeah. I mean, like sometimes like I go out with so like go without soda for like a week. You know, just don't buy it at the grocery store. If it's not on sale, you don't buy it. There you go. But I'm paying for these. Whatever. Whatever. That's my opinion, Bucky. So let me ask you this. So we already decided, me and you, that they shouldn't be allowed to buy junk food at grocery stores. But should they be allowed to go out to restaurants? And I know I know that look. Don't do it. Before you say, no way, that's like a luxury. Um, first of all, a lot of people agree with you because first, you're saying, all right, 
it may like fuel obesity if they go out to like McDonald's all the time. And another thing, prepared food costs more than you know if you made yeah, it yourself. It does. It totally does. But here's what the people who are against you are saying: some people don't have you know the supplies or the equipment at home to cook food, so that's why going out to a restaurant might be a good idea for food stamps. So what do you think? I mean, I guess that makes sense that way, but if you don't have like I don't understand. What happened to like soup kitchens and people like providing like food for their community with like food pantries and food banks and stuff? Like why do you have to resort to going to a Taco Bell or So you're saying no restaurants either? I don't want to say no restaurants either. Restaurants or fast food, like which one? Mm. Like restaurant, when I think restaurant, I think nice and sit down. But that's like expensive though. I don't even do that. Well, all right. Well, here's my take on it. I mean, I think like programs like food stamps and unemployment and like welfare programs, they're all an awesome idea because it's like. And some people really need it. Yeah, it's like they're made to help the people in need. And, you know, for example, food stamps, it's set up to feed the people who are hungry so they don't starve, the people who really need it. But I don't know. It's just like if you lose your job and you're unable to work, then the government should help you out, you know, until you find a new one. Or if you're disabled and right. you can't work, then we should help you out. But I think a lot of people now are kind of abusing the system. They totally are. They're taking advantage of, you know, exactly. what the government's giving. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And a lot of people, you know, it's not like, a lot of people out there can't find jobs, but a lot of people are just lazy. They really so, are. They take advantage of, you know. So I know people that have been on dis unemployment for... Too long. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of my view. It's like... <laughs> Way too long. Here's what I think, and tell me if you agree. That the more we give these people, these, I want to say the lazy people, the undeserving people, then it's just giving them more incentive to kind of stay unemployed and unmotivated and it's like unhealthy food and restaurants, they're just unnecessary. Like junk food and restaurants, they're just unnecessary for people with food stamps. And if we allow them to buy junk food and unhealthy food, it just gives them more incentive not to contribute and not to even apply for a job. So these programs were set up, set up to help them, but they're not doing that for some of these people. So my final summary, I think it's a good system, a good idea, but I think they just need to tweak it a little bit to, you know, change some things around and perfect it.